Vamo gira gira. Welcome to the show. To me long. Achere. I hope you're well. I'm well. Thank you very much for asking. Welcome to the show. If this is your first time, remember this is an adult's entertainment show. I'm burning some white sage. Salvia Blanca. If this is your first time, know that it's very important to use your adult discernment. But generally, there's something here for you if you click on it. This is a timeless pool. It's a collective all signs pool. Always look in the description below to see what the angel number generally coincides with the story. If it's not your story, don't make it your story. Just flip it and reverse it. Let's see, what are the three things that the Lionese Tarot Tracks cards have in store? Thank you for your likes, your shares and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. They really help out the channel a lot. Choo choo! Oh, yes. On the back we have seven of clubs, a small amount of money, a reward maybe, getting something at less than cost, cost price on the internet. Maybe some financial errands to be run. This is a huge and good omen for huge wealth and compound interest. Four, four, knock on the door. Four of diamonds. And important for relationships. This is maybe a map of hidden treasures that you've tried and failed year after year. Maybe you dig a little bit deeper in one precise spot. You will find that chest of gold. Or you will find a key. Or maybe a hint. Four of spades. Spells a period of loneliness in a relationship. You don't enjoy the solitude and your partner continues to disappoint you. It's an omen of short duration. Look for emotional refuse such as your friends, work, music, movies. Any loneliness you feel right now shall pass. And the ten of clubs. Wow. Good fortune, material success, abundance, and lucky in investments. A windfall, maybe. An unexpected inheritance? Maybe you find a wallet in the street. Any unexpected financial gain. This is a good luck card, for sure. At the bottom here, new beginnings, new creations, new ideas. Ah, of marriage and happy times in the sunshine in the countryside where's this chuchu going today we don't know next stop we turn you away i've turned our back on the troubles oh the troubles with this king of wands the six of swords says you're turning the boat around from troubled waters and you turn to the more calmer waters so this is a, a, a change of mind a change of attitude a change change is good this is a divine masculine energy of fire signs leo aries sagittarius domineering, restless, outspoken and ambitious this man creates as he speaks. It could be somebody with this divine masculine energy. It could may it be male or female. Oh, really? Strength. Oh gosh. The when the strength comes out, it means you're going to have a very tough time. But you're going to cope with it. You're going to deal with it. 
is Persephone. Well, her mother, Ceres. She's tamed the beasts. She's tamed the demons. She is also the goddess of fertility. Mmm, this could be very sexy indeed. This gives you inner strength to confront yourself or to confront others. Like this wandering warlock. I think it's too far away, don't you? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> what else is there? Next up, please. Hmm? There's this offer coming in from the devil. The devil kills you. Oh, la 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 la. Or you kill the devil. I don't know. What should we do first? This one. Four of Cups. This, this offer that's been offering to you from up above, this cup of love, but somehow you just don't want it. And personally, it seems like it kills you. You're lying there on the floor. Something ends and never happens again. A situation in your life or a relationship is ended. That's over. You've been stabbed in the back far too many times. This devil. The devil represents jealousy and trouble, of course also represents a person could be a capricorn uh it also could represent uh business um work the things that you are trained to there's nothing you can do about it because you need to pay your bills you need to have your possessions yes and be possessed unfortunately he also speaks of sex sexy times uh naughty times uh, um you know those things that go bump in the room maybe it's that bump in the room that gave you a STD which that's why you're lying there on the floor or on the hospital operating table who knows somebody's story out there next stop please Oop, la la in the sun, this will be illuminated. This will be a marriage with the devil, maybe. <laughs> and the Pope, the Hierophant. The sun is a, also doesn't only speak of the sun coming out. Although I do pray, we need the sun god now to come out and and push all the clouds away because it's very very cold. If it doesn't want to rain, then to go away, clouds. It just doesn't want to rain. Anyway. Besides that information, this is happiness and bright prospects. But the sun also speaks of uh, the light being shone on a subject, on a matter that that's, comes to light. This marriage, this official situation, uh, government, church, uh, post office, police, uh, body corporate, um, uh, official situation. And you're on top of it. You're on top of it. You have these frustrations. You're dealing with all these problems, but you are on top of them, the Seven of Wands. And you are a conqueror. You have peace of mind. I don't know how can that work together. Peace of mind. Or you meet somebody and you... This is Two of Cups. This is a union. But it's also speaks of good health you see the caduceus there it speaks of very very good health and balance and peace of mind but something imprisons you you're still feeling like you, you can't do this i don't know how to do this well you just have to untie yourself and and bind yourself from the devil take get out of hell you got the card take the blindfold off and uh, you will get rid of these frustrations it's just frustrating this queen of wands frustrates me. Yes, she has divine protection. There we have king and queen and the sun coming out. This could be a marriage indeed. Oh, they're already married. The divine feminine energy of uh, fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius and uh, Aries. Very fiery, positive and outspoken. She gives you protection. She also creates as she speaks. Oh, where do we go from here? 
Maybe you get an apology. Just offer a basic good news. A apology coming from the Queen of Swords because she's feeling like she's in... No, Queen of Wands. She's feeling like she's in YouTube jail because she can't go live. Or I must have bring your personal life into it. But you're juggling time. Two of Pentacles. You're not too sure. You've got confusion with money. I don't know. <laughs> There's uh, situations and ideas in your head that you're juggling up and down. Lots of hard work. Slogged. You're hiding behind your work. You're almost there. You're at the top of the game. But it's too difficult. It feels like the world is on your shoulders. Mm. It's about all this deception and the lies and deceit and delays. And your emotions are up and down. You feel like howling at the moon and blame it on the moon. The moon means rules the mind. The moon rules money. The moon rules Monday. And it rules every month too. So you're feeling a bit emotional. Don't worry. You may be deceiving yourself though and others. But there's this new idea of going... Oh gosh, you have to come out. Broadening your horizons, this brand new young energy that wants to explore. Explorer. The do Dora is an explorer. Travelling over lands. Very new idea of exploration and the divine wish has been granted unto you from up above or from the internet too this money is coming in ace of pentacles and lastly again it's still time for hermetizing this virgo energy of loneliness unattached soul searching time needed maybe still 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 uh, or just simple time alone as it said, confirms in the four of spades, a period of loneliness in a relationship. And you don't enjoy the solitude. Let's now look at the back here. Oh, we're getting away with all your hopes and wishes. They're coming to pass. All these words, fights and arguments against you. Seems like you have the upper hand. And the Dorian Virtues Virtual Angel card. What your angels want you to know. Three angels. Akasha says, You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine mission. Celeste says, A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. And lastly, Francesca says, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will only block your progress. I hope this helps you. Please hit the subscribe button. That makes you the light at the end of my tunnel. Especially when you hit the little bell for more notifications. I thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. Remember, life does get tougher, but we get smarter together. And if we try a little bit harder, oh yes, it gets better. Peace, shalom, salam alaikum, akaslifia, if libidich, siya bonga, riala bonga, hungia bonga. Tschüss, tatsis.